This tutorial will show you how to control your Windows Media Center with an Android device. There are many apps available that do this. This app is free and simple. From the link provided, locate and download the WMC Remote Service as shown on the site. When the wizard starts, click Next. Next again. Check the box to run the service and close the window. Here you see we have checked the boxes to start the service automatically. It will hide itself in the bottom right running services menu. This way we don't have to start it up each time we log on to use our phone as a remote. The port numbers listed are defaults. These are the paths by which the phone will communicate through the router over the network. Leave these alone. Click the network information tab. This will give you your IP address. You'll need this on the phone in a minute. On your Android device, connect to the wireless connection on the same network as your computer. Go to the market. Search for WMC Remote. The selection is shown. Click Install. After installation, launch the app. Here is the home screen. From top to bottom, left to right, you see Back, Mute, Record, Full Screen Toggle, the slide bar underneath is for Volume, then Close, Movies, Music, Pictures, Launch Media Center slash Return to Home Screen, Radio, Recorded TV, Guide, Live TV, and Channel Up and Down. Each section scrolls from left to right. The rest of the options are pretty self-explanatory and common. Press your device's menu button to get the Preferences menu to pop up on the bottom. In Preferences, select Server Settings. Press IP Address and input your IP shown in the service running on the computer. That's it. Just remember two things. Service needs to be running on the computer and the phone needs to be connected to the Wi-Fi.